Part 6 is not the end product of a design development, but rather a record of the process. The design manipulates rectangular planes, cubic voids, and linear elements which is transformed and made complex by unwritten rules. It started off from a plane with a grid of four lines. The four lines are projected into four intersecting planes. Then, the length of two planes is extended and inversed. Part of the planes are removed. The design process is all about shifting, subtracting, extending the elements until the design process has developed enough and the result composition is called house. Eisenman tried to challenge conventional ideas about what houses should look like. This house was a study between the actual structures and the architectural theory. It is designed in an unconventional way so that the user would have to grow accustomed to its architecture. His ideas start with grids and basic square shapes which build the planes. To prove that his architectural concept actually worked, he developed House 6 with basic design principle along with his concept of form does not follow functions. Some of the beams and columns do not contribute to structural support, but to enhance the conceptual design. The upside down staircase is painted red to draw attention. It is non-functional, but rather to indicate the axis of the house. The other staircase, access to the first floor, is painted in green without handrail. The only bathroom in the house is isolated as it is accessible from the bedroom only. It is extremely inconvenient for the occupants. Skylights, voids, and huge window openings in various sizes enable the house to be well lit. It gives spiritual dimensions to users as they are able to relate to the outdoor. For example, one of the columns in the kitchen is not even touching the ground. It is intentionally done to obstruct the human circulation in the house. Besides, the column hanging over the dining table separates the diners apart. There is only one bedroom in the house and the glass slits that extend from the ceiling to floor divides the room into half. This forces the couple to sleep separately as their bed have to be placed apart from each other. In fact, the slits and plane help to create rhythm and geometry of the space. The beams are stacked and overlap each other instead of intersecting. <laughs>